everything that this video is about to consist of, it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do. Well, it does have to do with you. Am I talking to portraits of the core six? What has my life come to? Let me start off by saying I respect everyone's opinions, but if you give my favorite book series a one star, I'm gonna have to disrespect it. Hello, Shelly Bays. Hello, besties. Who is ready to absolutely ruin my day? So, I. <laughs> The way I just became Peter Parker in this bitch and Spider-Man into this chair. As some of you may know, I'm a little bit obsessed with this little series called Addicted Calloway. I may have made it obvious, annoyingly obvious, some would say. We have this little series on this channel where I read one-star reviews of my favorite books or I read five-star reviews of my least favorite books. In those videos, you guys suggested that I read one-star reviews of my absolute favorite series. So I'm starting off strong with Addicted Calloway. If you guys like this, I can continue to do so with other series that are my favorites like Dirty Air, Raven Hood, Grip Trilogy. If you want me to do it, I'll continue. This is really gonna hurt. <laughs> I'm so not excited about this. Just know that if my feelings get hurt, it's your fault. Like I'm literally in pain for your entertainment. Let that sink in. Anyway, this is the Addicted Calloway Sister series. I will not be talking about it because I've already talked about it nonstop. If you want to know anything about this series, if you want to know the order, if you want to know um, the tropes, the characters, everything without spoilers, I have a whole video on it. Just basically a guide to Addicted Calloway. So go watch that. I'll link it in the description if you would like. Hello, why did it just turn so bright? Before I start, let me just say that this is all fun and games. Everything I say in this video, complete jokes. Don't worry, if you don't like Addicted Calloway, that is fine. We may never be friends, but that's fine. <laughs> But yeah, this video is just a joke. It's just for funsies. I have a feeling I'm not prepared whatsoever for this, but let's do it. One star. <laughs> one star for Rose and another one for Connor. I really have nothing good to say about this book. Update, it actually deserves one star, so I'm changing my... <laughs> You're telling me that originally this review was two stars and then she said, you know what? I'm gonna change my mind and I'm gonna give it a one. One star for Rose and one star for Connor. That already gets me. Rose and Connor themselves, even as side characters in some of the books, the ones that are not theirs, they deserve five stars already. What do you mean one? Oh, okay, this one is really long. What in the actual fuck was that? If you have ever read a book that made you want to throw it across the room and kick kittens, you're telling me that this book made you want to kick this little dude right here? This little guy man? Bro, dude, are you listening to this? <laughs> no, 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 no. Beepster? He's a man of the people, okay? He loves Addicted Calloway. He loves books. He's a Swifty. He's a Swifty to his core. You're a feminist. Maybe I was misled by all the great reviews and maybe it was my fault for somehow thinking this would be a steamy romance with angst characters that save each other. Well, it is. Well, it is. <laughs> First of all, I was not prepared for a long, depressing read. Listen, you're right. Oh, okay, okay. Excuse me? Excuse me, sir. These people have some serious problems. Well, yeah, they're humans. Fake ones, but humans nonetheless. <laughs> then there's Lily, oh God. Lily is a sex addict, but why? There has to be a root of her problem because she was a she was a slutty hot mess. Okay, come here. How dare you? How fucking dare you? It was never explained. It's the first book. This review was left on book one. You are just getting to know that there are nine other books. There are nine other books. I swear. I I'm overall a very positive person, I would say. I try to be positive on the internet. There's already so many dark things going on constantly. There's already so much negativity. I try to bring in some light because that's how I like to keep my account, okay? But I, I'm thinking many negative thoughts right now. Many negative thoughts about this review. I'm gonna move on from that one. That one hurt me way too deeply. I'm moving on. This was just so bad. To the person on TikTok who recommended this book, I hate you. <laughs> one eternity later. YA is probably not my thing anymore. YA? Who told you this was YA? The series is not YA. This is definitely adult. This is a series about two people overcoming their addictions and billionaires living their lives. This is like the Kardashians, but make it really good. <laughs> If this is a rom-com, kill the director. I didn't really enjoy this. Didn't like Lily. Didn't like Lo. Just 
just keeps getting worse. Didn't like them as a couple. I'm done. I'm done. At this point, I must excuse myself. How do I go on? Don't care if they ended up together. Cause you had a bad day. This review is not for me. I'm seriously worried about your mental state if you loved this book. Oh. My mental state is never well. So it like has nothing to do with this series. That's a whole different topic. You know what I mean? So maybe you should be worried, but just in general. These characters and their relationships make me want to barf. I hate the word barf. <laughs> the word barf and the word ointment, like, goodbye. Hello? There's like birds throwing a parade outside. What's going on? Are those birds? I was bored, rolling my eyes, cringing at almost every dialogue in every scene. Like what the hell even is this? It's a book. I could kind of see where you're coming from with the boring thing because like it is character based. It's less plot based and more like about these people. You just fall in love with the core six and like you go through their lives. It's a normal life. It's not like anything fucking insane happens, but just the characters, I love them so much. And I just change it out. I don't know how to explain it. This book was terrible. Oh, I got tired of the characters, especially Lily was the most annoying person. Why, what, what, what is up with people and coming for Lily Calloway's neck? The sex addict part got extremely boring and irritating. Oh, so the addiction part of the addicted series got boring and irritating. Did it, did it really? really testing my patience with these ever since the first one, okay? But like, this is the final straw. I'm not gonna be able to take much more. I randomly read this book at the airport because I was bored and I probably shouldn't have read the fifth book first. Well, yeah, but this book was so bad. I have no idea why it has good reviews. Well, maybe because you started on book five. Maybe because you took a series that is a consecutive series that you need to read all in order and you started with the fifth book. How are you gonna, how are you gonna? <laughs> you see this entire series right here? She started here. She started here, right here. At the airport too. I hate the airport. Now I hate it even more. <laughs> I kind of just don't care about Rike and Daisy. What do you mean? What do you mean you don't care for Ike and Daisy? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> I wish there was a no stars option. The attempt to make fuck fucking or fucker a term <laughs> that a person uses so much that you find it endearing is laughable. I want the time I spent reading this book back. <laughs> well, guess what? You fucking can't, you fucker. <laughs> The worst book in the entire series. Are you joking? Fuck Reich Meadows. I hope you die. I'm gonna act like you didn't just say that. Girl, what? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Smiling, but we're close to tears. I don't think I can do this. Too many F-bombs. Fuck you. <laughs> I hate it. There was not one character I liked. Every character was nasty, gross, despicable, however you wanna word it. I would like to word it beautiful, amazing, fantastic. <laughs> it is beyond me why people liked Lily and Lo at all. <sighs> I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Don't waste your time. Waste your time. Wish Rag Meadows died on that clip. This was very much out of pocket. Early, take it back. You take it back right now. Take that back. I'm gonna have to have you come over here and apologize to me personally and to Rike. Rike, you're into rock climbing. I'm into Rike climbing. Okay, like where did that even come from? <laughs> I have never hated a character that much where I'm like, I hope you die. No, you know what? Jason from Stranger Things. Here's a trash can. <laughs> Why did I read it like that? <laughs> Here's a trash can for you to throw this book in. Put that fucking trash can away. I'm calling the police to tell them how much you love the Addicted Calloway Sister series. Okay. I mean, if you want to. Hello, police. I'm just here to say uh, the core six, my favorite people on the fucking planet. No, they're not real. I love this book. Who's going to tell her that she gave it one star? I love this book. I don't think you do. As Hannah Montana once said, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Just the most overrated series ever. I've never seen such a useless group of millionaires. Have you not watched Gossip Girl? <laughs> 
I'm kidding, I love Gossip Girl. Um, listen, yes, are they millionaires? Uh-huh, do they have very much millionaire problems? Yes, but that's the fun of it, you know what I mean? It's very unrealistic. You become obsessed with their lives as these billionaires just living these crazy lavish things that we'll never experience. That's so sad. <laughs> This book would have been significantly better if none of the characters were in it. <laughs> the fact that I literally earlier told you that it was very character based and this person just goes, if none of the characters were in it, the book would have been better. These two are supposed to be super geniuses. This is about Rose and Connor, y'all. But they are just a couple of idiots. Girl, where? If they're idiots, what the fuck am I? What the fuck am I? Worst Calloway sisters book yet. And that's saying something. No, that's saying nothing. I didn't even fucking see it. I don't even know what you said. I'm gonna end it with this one simply because I don't think I can go on. But this one's great. It really wraps up everyone's thoughts very clearly. Um. No, yeah, that's it. If you want to see more of this, I can do part two. I don't want to, but I can. Let me know other series I should do this with. My newest obsession is Dirty Air. So if you want to see this with Dirty Air, I will do it. Or if you want to see this with Ravenhood, another one of my favorite series, I'll do that too. Let me know thoughts, comments, concerns. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my pain. I'm going to go drink coffee and I'm going to reread my favorite scenes from Addicted After All. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I hope you have such a good day, Shani Mays. I love you, I love you, I love you. And just remember, don't listen to any of those reviews. Don't listen to anything I read. Listen to me and read Addicted Calloway. Here, you want me to show you one more time? I'll do it. Say no more, say no more. Read this. If at least one of you reads this series because of me, I will have fulfilled my mission here on Earth. Yeah. I love you, Shani Mays. Bye.